Hi folks, this is the Age of Asparagus here to show you how to get started with Krita 4. My hope is to provide you with just the bare essentials to get started painting, drawing, sketching, doodling, and just exploring this awesome free program. The essentials I'm going to cover include creating a new document, changing colors, changing brushes, erasing, zooming and panning around the canvas, and saving your work. There are many ways to do each of these things, and I'll show you a few of them. To start with, to create a new document, when you open Krita, here you will see a new file. You can hit Control N, you can click New File, or you can go up to the File menu and click New. By default, the setting should be fine. However, for digital art, I like drawing with a 1920 by 1080 pixel canvas. This just fits nicely for digital art on the screen, and you can crop it to fit better later. So I'm going to create that canvas. This creates a tab along the top for one document. You can open multiple documents. I can go File New and open a second document, and you'll see it appears here. After I save it, the name of the file will appear. I can also drag and drop a picture from my computer onto Krita, and it will open the document here. Finally, I can hit the little new icon in the top left to create a new document. Although you can paint in Krita with a mouse, you won't get to feel the full power of Krita unless you have some sort of drawing tablet. That could be an external tablet and pen that connects to your computer by USB, like the Wacom Intuos Pro that I'm using. Or you could use a tablet-laptop combo that comes with a touchscreen and some sort of pressure-sensitive stylus like a Lenovo Yoga or a Microsoft Surface Pro. To change colors, you should have a color selector open by default in the top right. If you don't, you can reset Krita's layout by selecting the Workspaces menu. There's an icon at the far top right. You can click that and choose Default to reset the layout. In the Advanced Color Selector, you can select a hue by clicking on the outside ring, and you can choose the brightness and saturation by selecting somewhere on the triangle inside the Color Selector. A common beginner problem is choosing a hue and then forgetting to change the brightness so that the color, even though I am on a greeny blue there, it still appears in black because I need a, to change the brightness. Another faster way of changing colors is using your pen's button. For me, the top button on my pen pops up this color selector. You can then use the same color selector widget to change colors, or you can right click on a mouse. Finally, you can change colors by clicking on the foreground color in the toolbar at the top. You'll notice some brush presets in the pop-up here that you can select directly. And you can change which brushes appear by clicking this tag icon. You can also choose brush presets from the brush preset docker by default at the bottom right. You can scroll down through them and you can search at the bottom as well. You can also choose brush presets from the brush presets menu item in the top toolbar. To change your brush size, you can use the brush size widget in the pop-up, which appears if you click this expansion here, or you can use the slider in the top toolbar. You can also hit the left square bracket on your keyboard to make your brush size smaller, or you can hit the right bracket on your keyboard to make it larger. Finally, you can hold the left shift, and holding that down clicking and dragging to the left to shrink your cursor, or clicking and dragging to the right while holding shift to increase your cursor. To erase, you can use the eraser on your stylus by flipping the pen around, if that's supported by your system. Note that Krita can remember the size of your eraser, so if you if I increase the era my eraser size to about 100, it'll remember that size, and when I switch back to my pen, it will remember the pen size. Alternately, you can just hit the E key on the keyboard and it will turn your current brush into an eraser by going into eraser mode. 
which you can also do by clicking the eraser mode icon in the top toolbar. You can zoom using the zoom widget in the pop-up down here or alternately there's another zoom widget in the very bottom right or you can use your mouse's scroll wheel as well. To move about the canvas the bottom pen button on my stylus will grab and move around. This is the same as hitting the middle mouse button or pushing down on your mouse's scroll wheel. You can also hold the spacebar down while clicking on the canvas and moving it around. Finally, to save your project, just go to File Save, and by default it will be saved as a CRIDA document. Note that this will have a .kra extension. This is the file you want to open if you want to continue working on your art later. When your work is done, or you want to show someone your progress or post it, you'll need to export your drawing to a regular image format, such as a PNG or a JPEG. And you can do this from the file menu by clicking export and then either choosing a different file type, such as .png, or you can just type in the type of file you want. So for example, if I typed .png here instead, then I can save it. And you'll probably want max compression smallest file size if you're saving it as a PNG, otherwise the defaults should be fine. Now if I go into my pictures, I should see my art, the KRA file which would open up in Krita, and my PNG file which will open up in the default image viewer for my computer. Don't forget to save your work often, which is done by hitting Control S. Do that as you draw to prevent losing your work. And that's it for this Bare Essentials. I hope I provided you with enough to get started dabbling with Krita. So I crashed on the